Good evening. Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? How Good are evening, you? Teacher. Good evening, Good evening. Teacher. Good evening. Okay, I'm glad to see you all. How was your day? Is it raining there right now where you're living? No, it's very hot, teacher. It's really hot. Okay. Yes. Yesterday was terrible. Yeah, yesterday well, you were not you, you well, were not no able power, to connect, right? No internet <laughs> and then the storm. The storm. Today so... I return to San Salvador and tomorrow I am going back um, to Chalate very early in the morning. This has been my routine this half week. <laughs> yes, and uh, is it going to be over soon? Um. Yes. Yes, at the end of this week. Or tomorrow is the last day? No, um, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so you will rest a little bit, right, Mr. Luis? Yes. <laughs> okay, so you yesterday you were not able to connect yourself. You didn't have electricity. You didn't have internet. Yes, because um, I I don't know, but in the, in the road, I, I, the tree are um, caído. Uh, they fell the trees yeah. were yes. ah, okay they yes. fell the trees on the road when you were driving yes yes because uh the cable the, the energy is bad over yes i imagine so it's good uh to have you back even though you have Thank so you. many problems good evening luis enriquez hugo rufino patricia Jenny, uh, we're still good evening. Here. Good evening. How are you? How was your day? Good Reese evening. Reese? How was your day, Luis? Pretty good, sir. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. I'm glad, sure. to hear that. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Very good. Good yeah. evening, Stella. Okay, Rufino. Rufino, now you're in San Francisco, Rufino. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, right. Okay, very good. You change really every day, Francisco. right? Every class you change. Depend depend in my shirt. Is my shirt is the color and I lost uh, and the matching. And so I change change the imaging. Okay, yes, it depends on the color of your shirt. Okay, very good. <laughs> I like it. It's really cool. Okay, now we have Tatiana, Patricia. So we are going to wait for a little bit. Remember that tomorrow, uh, I, I guess that you already finished the platform. So remember that you have to finish it if you have not. So you won't have any problem with your diploma, okay? Okay, very good. So yesterday we were talking about trips, right? We were planning trips. We were using uh, also recommendation. And we were studying new new vocabulary, right? Okay, now we are going to review a little bit. Vamos a, a repasar un poco. And this was the vocabulary that we were studying yesterday. Okay, now we had hiking boots, right? How do you prepare for traveling? What kind of clothing you use in a trip? So we use hiking boots. We had sandals also to go to the beach and swimsuits, right? Also, we were studying uh, the, the money, right? How we were able to, to pay for things with an ATM card with money in cash, right? First aid kit, medication, vaccination also. That is really important now with the monkeypox. Yes. Passport, plane ticket, travel insurance, backpack, carry-on bag, suitcase, luggage. All of that is luggage, right? And we were studying also uh, different recommendations, right? Recommendations for traveling. So, for example, you have to carry your passport. You have to carry your um, ATM cards, you have to travel with that, an insurance, a travel insurance, and different uh, things, right? 
for example, if you had a, a friend from another country and this friend is going to come to El Salvador, what would be a good recommendation for this person? What would you recommend? The, the first recommendation uh, is a, a ba vaccine, vaccine, o sea, vacunación, vacunarse. Vaccination, right? Vaccination. We have vaccination. Vaccination. So you have to be vaccinated. Yes. Against what? Excuse me. Yeah. Con, con, para, qué, para qué se va a vacunar? Like vaccination for what? For... Because when, mm -hmm. when I fly to El Salvador and the uh, immigration, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, in the airport, uh, the 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 document of vaccination. Yes, the vaccination card, right? Vaccination card, yes. Yes, they ask you for that, and it's only for COVID, or because we have a new virus. Now we have the monkeypox. Mm, too. Yes, right. Have yes. you uh, have you heard about that new virus? Mm. La viruela del mono. Yes, I I, I see the information, but uh, I don't know. But in Costa Rica, mm -hmm. are the first person. Yes. Yes, we have like a few cases in Costa Rica. Yes. Like Costa Rica is really near yes. right yes so uh you have to be vaccinated against that for example if you go to uh, north america i guess that they are requesting that if you go to the united states or canada they ask you to have the vaccination against uh, monkeypox mm -hmm. and also COVID 19 right COVID 19 that is really common right so very good what else what is another good recommendation for someone who is co coming to el salvador to to travel here in El Salvador. What is a good recommendation? Another recommendation? Alguna recomendación de alguien que vaya a El Salvador? Ajá. Ajá, who was going to participate? A recommendation. We are requesting recommendation. A recommendation de para alguien que venga al Salvador, digamos que viene de vacaciones, nunca ha venido al Salvador. ¿Cuál sería una buena recommendation? What would be a good recommendation? People can use uh, the mask on public places. Public places. Okay, very good. You have to wear a mask, like surgical mask um, in public places. Very good. You have to keep doing that, but I've I've seen some people they don't they don't wear it anymore. They don't they don't yes, have it. Yes, on the bus there are a lot of people without the mask, and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people uh, with that, and I and I I don't know, right? I I keep using it, but some of my friends they don't use it because they say that they are not afraid anymore, that that already happened, that they are vaccinated. So they are. They said that they are not afraid. Probably that's and probably that's. Uh, maybe they don't like it, right? But I guess that we we have to still use it because uh, the virus is still there, right? It's not like a minimum uh, range, let's say, right? Yes, correct. Even on uh, on the place that I'm working, there are a lot of people like on the breaks. They are without the mask. And I am sure that nobody wants to wear the mask because it's uncomfortable. But for example, um, the last week, they got sick for they the got virus. Sick. Yes, yes, exactly. People uh, who are not wearing masks, they get sick. I, I, my friend, one of my friends got sick and they say, I am not, I am not feeling really bad, but I feel sick, right? That's what they said. They have like symptoms, like flu symptoms. But I guess that you still have to use it, right? For your protection and for other people's protection. Um, okay, very good, Liliana. Um, do we have another recommendation? One more recommendation 
for bring someone who's going to come. Cabinet. I'm sorry, Stella. Bring a medicine cabinet because it's important. Bring a medicine. Mm -hmm. And for, for a, kit. a first aid kit. Okay, like medication. Very good. And um, what kind of medication for headaches, stomach aches, uh, flu symptoms? All possible. <laughs> all, all the all that you you might think, right? Okay, yeah, that's a very good recommendation. Bring your your medicine, right? Because you don't know. Sometimes when we try new food, it it, it gets like really bad, right? Like you you have a stomach ache, for example. You have never tried pupusas probably that can be difficult, that can be dangerous, right? Okay. okay, very good, thank you, Stella. So that's what we are going to study today. And yesterday I asked you to tell me information about models, right? What can you tell me about models? What are models? ¿Qué son los models in English? I don't know, bitch. You don't know, Liz. Okay, we are going to check here. Models. These models are used to express uh, that an action is necessary or to give recommendation. Okay, models. Modales no quiere decir modales de buenos días, buenas noches, no. Models are some words that we use to provide recommendation, right? Uh, or something that you need to do. For example, you should pack shorts, sandals, and t-shirts when you travel to Dominican Republic, let's say, right? You should. Should is a model. You must be 18 or over to vote in the Dominican Republic. You must is a model, right? So we have two kind of models, necessity and suggestions, right? Something that you need to do, you have to do. We have a models like must, need, and have to. And suggestions like a recommendation and advice, we can use had better, ought to, or should. You studied that already, right? Yes, 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 okay, very good. Okay, very good. Now we are going to provide recommendations about uh, using models, right? That's what we are going to do right now. And we have this, uh, um, this uh, like a structure, let's say, or formula, right? We have here subject plus model plus verb plus complement. Uh, I can close uh, the microphone. Yes, there is, the, there is noise. Can somebody mute their microphone? There is like music playing there. Let's see, let me see here. Is it better like that? Is it better like that? Yes, yes right? Yes. yes. Okay, it's very better. good. It's better. <laughs> yeah, because we, we had the concert, right? In the background. So uh, we have models for necessity. This is the uh, structure, this is the formula. We have subject plus model plus verb plus complement. And with models, in this case, we have to use models with the infinitive form. The only thing is that the um, verb, it seems to be in the present, but it's in the infinitive and the infinitive is not written, right? It is like hidden, but it's really easy to use actually. We don't say must to have, for example. No decimos must to have, sino que decimos must have, right? So Salvadorans must have a visa to enter the United States. So that would be the subject, model, the verb, and the complement. Uh, we have another one. This one, uh, we can see the infinitive here. You, subject, need, model, to get a license to drive a car. You need to get a license to drive a car. Next one is you have to show your passport at the airport, you have to show, that's, that's another model, have to show your passport at the airport. We are following the same structure and uh, we have it in negative also, right? Negative. You don't need to pay for the carry-on back in some airlines. You don't need to pay 
for carry on back in some airlines. Let's see. Gabriela Cortez. Can you hear me, Gabriela? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. What is a carry on back? Llevar. Uh huh. Llevar. Because Luis, Mr. Luis Urias was not here yesterday and he has some doubts about the vocabulary. So, what is a carry on back? Do you know? Maleta de mano. Yes, exactly. Maleta de mano. Very good. Yes. So, carry on back is maleta de mano. So, that's vocabulary that we're studying, right? Yes. For traveling. For traveling, yes. Traveling. And uh, we have also more models. For example, you'd better arrive at the airport two hours before your flight departs. You ought to use the subway when you travel to New York City. You should rent a car if you're going to visit lots of places in El Salvador. And you shouldn't walk alone late at night. So if you can see her, uh, we have the, the subject, the model, the verb, and the complement. And we can use it in negative and in affirmative statements. Okay, something that you should do or you shouldn't do, something you need to do or you don't need to do, right? So that's something that uh, we can use. We, for that reason, we classify the models in necessity and suggestions, right? Two kinds of models, necessity and suggestions. Questions about this? Preguntas de los models? Questions? No questions. Okay, now we are going to practice the models, right? Just to begin. It says, I choose the best advice for someone who is going on vacation. And we have a sentence and we have two models in parentheses, right? For example, have to, better, a must, should, must, should, right? So we have to choose which uh, fits a better the sentence, right? For example, the first one says, you have, have to. to or better make hotel reservations in advance. It might be difficult to find a room after you get there. Which one would you use, have to or, or you'd better? Have to. Have to. Yeah. Have, to. <laughs> have to, okay, very good. So have to is the number one. Let's see uh, the results, right? Number two, you must or should carry should. identification should. with you. It's the yes, law. Must. Must. Okay, so people say must and some people say should, right? One is a recommendation and one is uh, like an obligation that you have to do, right? You have to. Must. Must. Okay, very uh, good. So some people say must and some people say should. Okay, let's see. Number three, you must or should buy a round trip mm -hmm. plane ticket because it's cheap. Should. 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 Why should? should? Why do you use should? Is for a because it's a recommendation. It's, it's a recommendation. It's not an obligation. Okay, yes. very good. So that's why we are trying to um, combine here or actually make the difference, right? One is a recommendation and another uh, another one is like an obligation. Number four, you, and it says don't have to or you shouldn't pack too many clothes. You won't have room to bring back any gifts. You don't have to, or you shouldn't. 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 It's a recommendation, right? Yes. yes. Okay, because it's an option. You can do it or not, right? It is up to you. Number five, you need to, or you ought to, check out of most hotel rooms by noon if you don't want to pay another night. Out to. You ought to, out. or you need to. Okay, we have to review uh, a little bit the, the, the models, but we are going to check right now, no problem. And you have to or ought to buy a new suitcase because your old one is getting shabby. You have to or you ought to? Uh, sure. 
Uh, not the last one is six. The last one is six, yes, the sixth one. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so you have to buy a new suitcase or you ought to buy a new suitcase because your old one is getting shabby. What is shabby? What is the meaning of shabby? What is shabby? That is an adjective, right? Shabby. It's like classic. Yes, it's like uh, it's like really old, really bad, como que mal estado, verdad? Está, por ejemplo, para esta, en este caso, la oración, shabby, your suitcase is shabby, it's like, está viejo, ya está en mal estado, ¿verdad? So you have to buy a new one, right? So remember, for um, necessity, we can use must, need to, and have to. And for suggestions, we can use had better, ought to, and should. For example, when we see here this uh, sentence, you'd better is it's not saying you will better right so is is this one is the contraction of had better had better is contracted here you had better or you'd better so it's a recommendation and a necessity is must need to and have to so we are going to check the the answers right now and these are the answers right You'd better is the first one. You better make a hotel, make hotel reservations in advance. It might be difficult to find a room after you get there. Number two, you must, right? You must carry your identification with you because it's the law, right? Now it's, it's, it's more important than ever, right? Here in El Salvador, you have to carry your identification, right? Because probably uh, in this situation, you, you might get into prison, right? So you must carry identification with you. It's an obligation. Number three, you should. You should buy a round trip. What is a round trip? Viaje redondo. Viaje redondo, exactly. Mm -hmm. redondo es de ida y vuelta, ¿verdad? So you go and you come back. So you should buy a round trip plane ticket because it's cheaper. So it's a recommendation. Number four, you shouldn't pack too many clothes. You won't have room to bring back any gifts. Entonces, no deberías de empacar tanta ropa porque no vas a poder traer muchos regalos, ¿verdad? No deberías. You shouldn't. You need to. So that is an obligation or is a recommendation. You need to check out. Number five, obligation. it's an obligation, right? Obligation. You need to check out of most hotel rooms by noon if you don't want to pay for another night. So you have to get out of the room by noon or you they will charge you for another night. So that is an obligation. That's something that you need to do. And number six is you ought to buy a new suitcase because uh, your old one is getting shabby, right? You ought to. So you ought to deberías, but that's like you should. It's a synonym, it's a suggestion, right? You ought to, okay? So um, this is really easy. This is the use of must and have to. So as I was explaining before, we use must and have to to say that something is necessary or obligatory. Sometimes it doesn't matter which we use. Drivers and passengers have to wear seat belts. Drivers and passengers must wear seat belts so that is an obligation right something that you have is an uh, obligatory for suggestions asking if something is necessary or obligatory we normally use do i have to the question for must must i etc is far less common so um it says here that we can use models in questions right podemos usar los modales en preguntas si sí, si sí, podemos example do you have to have an international driving license? Yes or no? Yes, you have to. No, you don't have to, right? So we can use models for questions. The differences between must and have to. There's something, There's. it says, there's sometimes a clear difference between must and have to. We use must to talk about an obligation that we impose on other people or on ourselves. It's our personal opinion. I must go to the optician. 
the person thinks is necessary. So must is a personal obligation. Usted debe de, debe de hacerlo, right? And have to, we usually, uh, it says here in contrast, we normally use have to when we, when the obligation comes from outside the speaker is objective. It's outside the speaker's control. It's like a law, like the law, right? It's not something that it's personal. It's, it's like the law. I have to go to the opticians at 11.30. Uh, for example, an example here is that you have a schedule, an appointment, and you have to go there because it's already scheduled, right? It says, know that the obligation or necessity is often habitual. Irving has to wear glasses when he drives. So, obligación a veces es algo habitual. Que yo tengo que usar anteojos, dice ahí. O por ejemplo, ahí la, la, la oración, Irving tiene que usar anteojos cuando conduce. So, he has to wear it only when he drives. And a mustn't or don't have to. This is in negative, right? We use mustn't to tell people uh, not to do something, that something is wrong or against the law. Usually in the USA, you mustn't drive at more than 55 miles per hour. We use don't have to, to say that there is no obligation to do something. He doesn't have to drive so slowly. It isn't necessary. Okay, entonces esto es para decirle que no tiene que hacer lo que no es obligación. Podemos utilizar mustn't or must not or don't have to, right? And to finish, we are going to finish with this, the main use of should and out. We use should plus infinitive without to or out to plus infinitive when we think something is the right thing to do. Ocupamos should or out to cuando nosotros creemos que algo es correcto, ¿verdad? Hacerlo. People should pay to use the roads. People ought to pay. La gente debería pagar por usar los caminos, ¿verdad? And we have had better plus infinity without two, right? Had better is also for suggestions. We use had better plus infinity without two to say that something is the right thing to do. We use it with I and we talk about an immediate intention. I'd better go by car. Es algo más inmediato. Dice aquí que se usa had better. Uh, we use it with you or he or she, it, they, when we're giving advice or warning about the present or the immediate future. You'd better hurry. You'd better hurry. Mejor que se apure, ¿verdad? Mejor eh, apresúrese. So uh, these are like some uh, usage of the models, right? Do you have any questions about the usage? Like how we are going to use should, how to, have better, must, like in a question, in negative statements, questions? No questions? Everything's clear? Okay. Now we are going to practice because if everything's clear, you shouldn't have any problem, right? So I'm going to... Let me see here. Sorry. I'm going to open a new window and um, let's create a situation, okay? I'm going to share here. Voy a compartir aquí el, el enlace para que ustedes lo puedan usar. Y vamos a crear una situación. Just let me raise here. Okay, so we are going to create a situation here. You can go to this to this um, link and remember how we use the palette, right? How do we use the palette? We are going to, I'm going to show you again, just uh, in case that you don't remember. You click here in the icon. And then you said añadir publicación, and then you write, right? I think, or you should 
a suggestion. Right? You should do this, you should do that. So I want suggestions, right? Quiero sugerencias. Let's say that I had a problem. I'm in an airport. I'm really far away from my home and I'm traveling on vacation. And I had a problem. I'm late for my 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 for my trip, right? For to come back to, to El Salvador. Let's say I'm in, in the airport and I'm late. What should I do if I miss my plane back to El Salvador? What what should I do? What is a recommendation that you can give me? Or something that I need to do. You should buy a cap. A cap. <laughs> Why should I buy a cap? <laughs> you should buy a cap. Now, actually, that wouldn't be very useful, right? You should talk with your parents. Mm, yeah, maybe, maybe, right? Um, maybe I should talk if they have money, right? If they can help me. You should be three hours before to fly time. Yeah, before, um, how do I say that? Uh, you should take the, the next flight. Yes, but it's not easy, right? If you miss your plane, what happens? ¿Qué pasa cuando uno pierde el avión? Cuando uno... You have to buy another one, right? You have to buy another one. So you need money for that. You should bring a carry-on bag. Yes, <laughs> yes. You should check the available flights. You should talk with your parents. Yeah, you can drive for airport. Very good. You should buy a cap. You should eat pupusas. Yeah, maybe, but if, imagine if I really far away, let's say I am in, in which country? I'm in France, let's say, right? I'm in France, I'm in Paris, I miss my flight. What should I do? ¿Qué debería de ser? You can drive. You should be three hours before the flying time. Yeah, yeah, probably. Now, let's say that I am uh, I am sick. I am sick. It says you should always wear a mask at the airport. You should ask the airline what solution they offer to you. Very good, very good. Thank you for your recommendation. Now let's say you shouldn't leave all your money in the suitcase. You have to bring your documents. Very good. You should buy a dictionary in the native language. Yes, yes, very good. You're out to take your medicaments. You should bring control medications, yes. Let's say I am sick because I, I, I was nervous and I have a stomachache. What should I do if I have an, an stomachache? Si tengo dolor de estómago, ¿cuál es su recomendación? You should take it easy. <laughs> Very good, just might take a pill. You should make double check before leaving the airport. Okay, you should take medicine. Very good. Very good. Let's see here. I have a chat here. You should buy newspaper. Okay. You must visit a good doctor. You must visit. You see the difference? You must visit a good doctor. So it's something that you must do, right? You should go to the doctor. Very good. Now, uh, let's see the last situation. La última situación para practicar. You have to take medicine. You should take vegetables. You should take medicine for your stomach. Very good. Now the last one. Uh, let's say that I am driving and now the police like tell me to stop. What should I do uh, if a police, if I'm driving and if the police tell me to stop? You should take some pepto <laughs> Yeah, When I was sick, right? When I was sick. Yes, exactly. Very good. You should you should show your ID. Yes, you have to you have to show right. You have to show your ID. You should not bring cold clothes. No deberías traer ropas frías. You maybe when you're sick, right? When you're sick, yes, very good. But if I'm uh, with the police, right, and they tell me to stop, what should I do? Should I keep driving? Should I stop? 
Should I show my ID? Should I say good good morning, good evening, good night? You must bribe them to let you pass. <laughs> yeah, in El Salvador, that's bribe is to give money, right? To give money to the police, right? So they can say goodbye to you. You should show him your passport. Yes. You should show your ID. You must, you must give your papers. You must show your documents. Very good. So it's the difference, right? Something that you have to do and also a recommendation. Very good. Thank you very much for your recommendations. You should show your ID. Very good. So I just wanted you, I, I wanted you to for you to know the difference, right? That you can use different uh, models and the usage is different. You should escape like in fast and furious. Yeah, probably that is a good recommendation, right? You must take a bite. Take a bite, como dar mordida. Dar mordida like in Mexico, right? That is bribing, right? Bribe. You must stop and wait for the agent's questions. Very good. Very good recommendation. Okay. You have to be calm and you should show your documents and everything should be okay. Yeah, the best option is to be calm, right? To calm down. You should show your documents. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Now we are going to stop. Um, you, you provide a lot of recommendations, you see? So you were able to give recommendations of uh, suggestions and obligations, something that, that I have to do, right? Very good. Now we are going to continue with the next uh, exercise for you to practice. Let me see here. Uh, this will be your homework because I don't think that we are going to do this right now. Esta va a ser la tarea para mañana. So since we are uh, providing recommendations like these ones, like you have to be calm, you have to take your medicine, you should eat more vegetables, you should take medicine, you should take it easy. So we are uh, giving recommendations and also our, our, our point of view in a situation. Uh, this will be your homework for tomorrow. The, the class hasn't finished yet, right? No hemos terminado la clase, solo que... Vamos a, a, a dar las indicaciones para mañana. It says, talk about a trip you would recommend and a trip you wouldn't. Let your classmates know why you should or should not go to this trip. So tomorrow, I want you to, I don't know if you have time. I guess some of you don't have enough time. But if you don't have enough time, no problem. Teacher, I have a problem with my spine. And I can stand sitting for a long time. Can I keep the camera off? Yes, yes, Estela. So you can rest, no problem. So in this case, um, you should uh, you should provide or, or give a presentation about a place that you recommend to visit. Van a hacer una presentación, si pueden, si tienen tiempo, acerca de un lugar que ustedes recomienden. Eh, ir a visitar, por ejemplo, ir de vacaciones. So it's like you, you have to go and then you will give recommendations, okay? For example, uh, in this case, uh, this one, right? You must get necessary vaccination. You should get the necessary, the, you, you need to take with you ATM card and uh, you need to pack your camera. You have to get the visa. You have to get the passport. It depends of, on the place, right? Depende del lugar al que ustedes recomienden. Ustedes van a dar recomendaciones eh, dependiendo de ese lugar. ¿verdad? Entonces, mañana este, van, a, van a hacer como una presentación. If you have time, prepare pictures or prepare uh, videos. I don't know if you have time. But if you don't have enough time, just ex the explanation will be enough. Solo con explicarlo y dar las recomendaciones va a ser necesario. It will be okay. So we are going to practice all the models, right? All of these models. Better, you, you need to use all of them, right? Should, how to, for recommendations and need, right? Need, you have to do this. You don't need to do that. You must do this, right? So try to use all of them. Now we are going to have a listening practice. Um, before uh, continuing with the listening practice, do you have any questions about the homework? Preguntas de la tarea de mañana? Questions? 
No questions. Okay, very good. No questions. So tomorrow you are going to give a presentation about a place you would like to, to go or you recommend to go, right? Now we're going to have a listening practice. We are going to watch a video. Now we are not just going to listen to it, right? We are going to watch a video and we are going to uh, answer the following questions. What is the family going to do? Where are they? What are the activities they did? What did the son do? What did the father want to do? What was the daughter collecting? So we are going to see all of these activities in the video, a, very, a high quality video, HD video. So um, just allow me one moment and I will, I will play it and we are going to listen to it. Lo vamos a escuchar una o dos veces y luego vamos a contestar las preguntas, el video. It's a really short video, okay? So you don't have to, um, you're going to get that distracted or it's a like four minutes video and you just need to listen to it. We're going to play it like one or two or three times if you need to. And then we are going to answer the, the questions, okay? It's about uh, camping and going on vacations, okay? So let me see here. Let me know if you can uh, listen to the video. Can you listen to it? Lo pueden escuchar? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, I will play it, okay. keep an eye on them. You've had a hard week. Why don't you grab a chair and your book and take it easy? I'll get things set up. No, it's fine. Maybe I can help Lisa with the tent. You can go fishing with Ben. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. No fishing until camp is set up. Ben? Yeah? Ben, honey, you have to help your sister and father set up the tent. Then you can go fishing, okay? Aw, oh, Mom! Ben? Okay, but for how long? Not long at all. And after, if everyone's nice, we can roast marshmallows over the fire. All right. Can we go fishing now? Ben, don't you think you should get your sleeping bag out and get yourself set up in there? I mean, you ought to think about tonight. Plan ahead. There won't be much light later. I guess you're right. Come on, Ben, I'll help. Ed, you don't have to. Ben can do it himself. I don't mind. Besides, I'll probably fall asleep in there, and that would be a good thing. <laughs> Mom, look! Oh, what a beautiful leaf! What are you going to do with it? I don't know yet. Maybe I'll make something in art class. Great idea. <gasps> or I'll draw a face on it and hang it on my door. Nice. No, I'll probably just leave it like it is forever. Oh, honey, leaves don't last forever. They dry up. But you can do this. Here, watch me. There. That should keep it in good shape for a while. OK. Why don't you go collect some more leaves? All right. I guess I'm not reading a book. Honey, you don't have to read right away. As soon as you and Ben are done in there, you two can go fishing. Ben, how much longer are you going to be in there? Ben. 
Ben. He's not in there. Where'd he go? Ben! Gone fishing! <sighs> Don't be too long. Remember, we've got marshmallows to roast. Oh, I love roasted marshmallows. Uh huh. And after that, you can read books all you want. Books? I'm not gonna waste my time reading books when I have fish to catch, leaves to collect, and marshmallows to roast. <laughs> Okay, that's it. That is the video. Now we're going to um, answer the, the, the questions, okay? Did you see the video? Did you listen to it? No. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay, it was a really kind of old video, right? But anyway, um, the good thing is that we were trying to practice the listening. Okay, what is the family, the, the family where, where are they? They are at the beach, they are in the mountains. Where, where are they, in the forest? In the forest. They're in the lake. They're at the, the lake, lake, in, in the, the lake. forest, right? In very forest. good, in the yes. forest, very good. And um, tell me, what activities uh, are, where are they going to do? What, the, what are the activities that you were able to listen to them? Boys, uh, fishing, uh, fishing, 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 read, mm -hmm. read, read, read a book, right? Okay. Okay. Very good. And and the son, what what did the son wanted to do? Fishing. 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 He wanted to go yes. fishing. Very good. And the father, what did he wanted to do? Read books. Read a book, read right? Books. Very good. Read a book. And the daughter, what what was she collecting? Leaves. Leaves, leaves right? Leaves. She was collecting leaves. Oh, leaves. Okay, very good. Okay. Have you traveled in a place like that before with your family? Like uh, to the forest, to the lake, to the mountains? Have you traveled? Have you gone there to the mountain with your family or with your friends? No, never. Never? never? okay it's like a recommendation right it just if you like nature right because some people don't like nature but if you like nature and you would like to experience that that would be a very good recommendation so very good you did very well with the with the video now i think that we are going to finish with vocabulary we are going to study some vocabulary that we have uh reviewed in these past days since we are almost finishing the week and tomorrow we will have presentations, okay? Mañana vamos a tener las presentaciones. Cada uno va a dar su presentación de la recomendación que va a um, hacer. Now, let me see here. Just let me open the link. Yes, I think it's ready. We are just going to, um, it's kind of complicated because it's like guessing words, but we just, I just wanted you to know more words to practice. So that's what we are going to do right now. Now, this is the meaning and you need to guess the, um, the word, right? For example, time off from school and work. How do we call that? ¿Qué es eso en, en inglés? Tiempo fuera de la escuela o del trabajo. ¿Cómo le decimos a eso? Vacation. Holiday. Holiday, vacation. Vacation, right? Very good. Vacation, very good. Next one. To take a trip. What would be the Travel. word? Travel, let's see. Very good. Travel. Next one. The act of traveling. The act of traveling. That will be 
road trip, trip. right trip <laughs> or road yeah <laughs> sorry Valmore. sorry for that let's see next one to remain somewhere what will be the english word for that to remain quedarse en algún lugar to remain somewhere how do we say that in english stay right stay stay. <laughs> stay is really easy you see so you just have to <laughs> practice your vocabulary let's see next one future verb phrase for fixed plans future verb phrase for fixed plans we have studied that we have studied going. that uh-huh going going to going to going to, going to. let's see Sorry. Going to, very good. Yeah, very good. Going to, you see, very good. Next one, model auxiliary for future plans, especially when there is doubt. Will Which one? Will, will, will. Will, very good, very yes. good. Model, it's a model, right, also. Yes. Next one, all of the bags you use for transporting clothes and other things when traveling. ¿Cómo le decimos a todo esto? In English. Luggage. 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 Let's see. Luggage. Uh, Very luggage. good. Luggage. It's luggage. 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 Very good. Luggage. Next one. The card you use at the bank's machine to deposit money, withdraw cash, or check your balances. Credit card. But it's the, the, the machine. No, no, no. ATM. 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 Very good. The ATM card. But ATM actually, card. Yes, ATM was good. card. Very good. Very good. Next one. A large bag used to carry things on your back. Used especially by people who go walking or climbing. Backpack. Backpack. Very good. Backpack. Backpack. Next one. A small case or bag that you take onto a plane with you. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on Carry back. On. Very good. Carry on back. Very good. Next one. Collection of supplies and equipment for use in case of health emergencies. Medical kit. First aid kit or medical aid kit. Very good. First aid kit. Very good. Next one. Shoes for being in nature. Boots. Hiking. Boots. Hiking boots. Hiking, hiking boots. Hiking boots. Hiking Very boots. good. Boots or hiking boots? Very good. Hiking boots. Next one. Pills you take to stay healthy. Medicine. Medicine. Medicine or Vitamin. medication. medication. Okay, very good. Yes. Vitamins also, right? Vitamins. Vitamins, yes. Mm -hmm. A card with your name and picture that you get from your school. Or or your ID. identification, uh, yeah, student ID, right, student ID, very good, or your identification. A bag for carrying clothes when traveling, part of your luggage. How do you say this? Suitcase. Suitcase, very good, suitcase, exactly. Next one, clothes you wear at the beach or pool. Swimming suit. Let's see. Swimming suit. Swim suit. Swim suit. Right. Very good. Swim suit. Next one. An injection you get to keep you healthy. An injection you get to keep you healthy. Vaccination. Vaccination. Okay. Or. Yeah, vaccination, that vaccine, I thought, but vaccination, very good, Rufino. <laughs> it's the next one. Something that is not familiar or from another country. Not familiar. Stranger. Stranger, okay, let's see. Foreign. Oh, foreign. 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 Extranjero, foreign. yes. Foreign. Extranjero, foreign. yeah. Foreign. Next one. Model auxiliary revert for requirement or obligation. Should or must. Let's see. Must. must. Very good. Must. must. Very good. Obligation, right? To have to. To have the necessity of doing something. Mm. 
What is the word for that? Which one? To have the necessity of doing something. Tener la necesidad de hacer algo. Need to. Let's see. Need to. Need to. Very good. Very good. Next one. Model phrase for requirement. Let's see. To have to, right? You need, you have to, right? You have to do this, you have to do that. Next one. Model phrase for advice, similar to should. How to? How to. Let's see. How to, very good, how to, how very to. good. Next yeah. one. Model phrase for strong advice between should and must. Strong advice between should and must. Have to. Let's see. Had better. Had better. Had better. Had better. Next one. Model auxiliary for advice. It is a good idea to. Yes. Which one? Yes. Should. Yes. Should. Should, mm -hmm. right? Should. Should. Next one. To work without being paid, especially for a cause you believe in. We haven't studied this, but probably you, you may know it. Volunteer. To volunteer. Very good, Alejandra. Very good. To volunteer. Volunteer. To book a room or table in advance so that it is waiting for you. To book a room or a table in advance. Eh, reservar un cuarto o una mesa. ¿Cómo se le dice eso en inglés? Reservation. Reservation. Very good. Yes, reservation. Next one. To put things in a suitcase. Packing, packing. Let's see. Empaquetar or empacar, right? How do you say empacar? Packing. Very good. You know, packing. Next, see. Next one. A state in which you are not in danger. You are not in danger. So if you are not in danger, you are safe. Safety, very good. Safe or safety. safety, very good. Next one. We almost finished. No problem. No, no worries. Okay. A journey made for pleasure, especially as a holiday, visiting several different places in an area. What is that? A journey made for pleasure. Is a tour, right? Tour, 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 right? tour. tour. Yeah. very good. Next one. Non-separable phrasal verb meaning to eat in a restaurant. Significa cenar en un restaurante. Es un phrasal verb. We haven't studied phrasal verbs, right, Beth? No, no suggestions. Let's see. The, the answer is... To eat out, ir a salir a cenar afuera, to, eat, to out. eat out, eat out. Eat Next out. one, the sport of riding on a wave on a special board. What is this? Surfing. Surfing. Surfing, surfing. very good, surfing. Next one, an organized set of special events such as musical performance. What is this? Stand. This is Fiesta Agostinas? No, right? What is this? Is Gusto teacher. festival. <laughs> yes, festival. that's a festival. It's like Gusto. <laughs> Gusto is a music festival. Gusto. Very good. Yes. yes. Next one, uh, at the act of staying in a tent in nature. What is this? Camping. Camping. Camping, Camping. Camping. right? Very good. Camping. To travel or transport something on a flat floating structure, usually made of wood or rubber. 
We, uh, for risk. Let's see. Rafting. 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 This is rafting, right? Rafting. rafting. And the last one. Es que la divina se lleva todos los puntos. It says, our, a device that produces a very bright light or color smoke that can be used as a signal. How, does it, how is it called, this image? ¿Cómo se le llama esto? SOS. SOS, SOS. Flare, very good, Please. flare. It's like a bengala, right? Flare, very yes. good. Yes. Very good, people. So we have learned a lot of vocabulary, you see? Related to vacations and also models and um, suggestions, right? So I don't know if you have any questions right now. Preguntas de algo que vimos o de la tarea? Questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, very good. So tomorrow, please prepare your presentation. Mañana preparen su presentación de un lugar al cual ustedes eh, recomienden ir. O no recomienden ir, ¿verdad? It is up to you. So tomorrow you are going to speak and you are going to put into practice all of the model verbs, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. so I will, uh, yes. I will see you tomorrow if you don't have any questions and I hope that you have a very good night. Rest, Thank okay? You. Thank you for your efforts. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you, good night. Bye-bye. Thank good you, bye. Night. bye, -bye.